Can you tell us your name and where you're from? Hi, I'm Isabella and I'm from Seattle. Can you tell us what brings you to Tri-Cities? I'm an intern at the internship. Isabella, can you share with us, what was your life like before Christ, before coming to Christ? My life was, um, I was born into a Christian family, but I didn't know the power of God. I was, um, I was, as a kid, I was very disturbed with like, I would get bruises on my body and cuts, and I was also seeing a lot of things. And um, as I got into be a teenager, I wanted an explanation for those things. So I was seeking into the new age and also seeking from other sources. So as you're seeking, are you finding a solution? Are you finding answers to your, to your questions? No, <laughs> no, I was not. But as I was seeking, I realized it was these moments of peace that would only last temporarily and then they would be gone. It was very fleeting. And, um, and this whole time, my mom recently was, she was also born into a Christian family, but she was not very seeking God until she became a little bit older. She had an encounter with God. And that's when she started to pray with, for me. And my grandma as well was praying for me. So you had a praying mom and a praying grandma. And then what brings you, how did you come to find Christ as you're, as you're dabbling into um, horoscopes and things like that? The new age, you finally come to a point of like, okay, enough is enough. What was that point for you? What did it look like? For me, it was in the year 2020 when I realized that nothing was fulfilling me. Nothing was helping me at all. And so I needed more. And so my mom, every single night, she was actually anointing me with oil and she was praying for me. So I was like, okay, if she keeps praying for me, then I, I guess there's something that she's believing in that I'm not believing in. So I started to read my Bible in my secret time. And I was just like, Lord, I need you to help me because I'm at the end of it. Having a praying mom and a grandma makes a huge difference in our lives. So we thank you and encourage you. If you're that grandma, if you're that mom, continue to press in for our children and the generations around us, the ones to come up. So Isabella, so you come to that point again, and what happens next? How do you come to find Christ? How do you come to deliverance? So I come to deliverance because I was in a relationship that the Lord told me that I would have to choose Him or I would have to choose God. So I realized that I wanted God and that that relationship had to end. So we ended up ending the relationship on a Monday, but on Sunday, um, so on the weekend, was raised to deliver and I got invited to, and I went just for a distraction. I was very, you know, heart, sad and heartbroken. <laughs> so I went as a distraction, but I got delivered on a Sunday. Yeah. Praise God. Share with us a little bit more details about like you came actually to raise to deliver because you were heartbroken, wanted to just waste some time, distract yourself from the brokenness of that relationship. And you come to raise to deliver. What happens? Is it Friday night? Then what happens? So I manifested on a Saturday, but they were having to close the church um, because the prayer line was going too long. And so I was confused because I was like, I'm from a family of ministers. How can I have a demon? How can this be in me? So um, I went home and I just kept hearing this like audible voice. Like I've been in your families for generations and I'm not leaving you. I have an assignment on you and you're going to be stuck in it. So I was screaming all night and my mom comes into the room and she's like, what happened to you at this conference? <laughs> and I I was like, well, I don't even know. So she took me early Sunday morning to get deliverance, but it was the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And um, I just remember sitting in the pier and the services like coming to a close. And I was like, Lord, but I need freedom. I, I don't want to go home the same. So they do a calling for um, the baptism of Holy Spirit. And I run to the front. I was like, I need deliverance. And they just started to like, people came up to me, about five ministers. And it was not all at the same time. But um, each time they prayed for me, I manifested. I fell to the ground and then I got up and then something left me so... And it was a spirit of anger, um, generational curses of witchcraft, as well as I think it was like depression that was very heavy on my life. So, Wow, praise God. I think along what God is doing in her life, it's such a, if you're in this place today, you're not knowing, you're not knowing like, hey, you're here for a reason. I don't know, someone dragged you into service or someone told you about our deliverance. God will touch you and meet you at your needs like he did for Isabella. So Isabella, what would you, a word of advice for someone in that situation right now? 
I would say that nothing can fulfill you but Jesus. I was searching in the wrong places, but the only person who could fulfill me was Jesus, and he turned my life around. So, yeah. Praise God. Isabella is an intern, and as she continues, you know, she receives her deliverance and made that choice to come to our internship. As she said, it's that cherry on the top for her deliverance, where she's learning how to practice, uh, how to read scripture, her Bible, and just fight against that enemy and those thoughts. So we thank you, Isabella, for sharing with us. Yeah,